Liam, I signed off on that project. That's great, Pathfinder. Jala Maldorov, we got our gear. Costa, Ryder. Is this show for my benefit? Because I'm benefiting. <laughs> Just convenience, swapping armor. You ready to go? Go. Right. The pattern on your pauldron? Family honorific. Can I wear the poncho? It's a rough shin. And no. Why? Is it religious? Wait, what? It's personal. You're not allowed. Because of status or species? Maybe it's both. Do all humans look alike? Some of you sound alike. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I thought this was about armor. Are you deliberately trying to offend y'all? Um, of course he is. That's the point. Asking stuff diplomats leave out. Armor for answers. I, my turn was earlier. Nexus info packets leave a lot out. I am sorry. Uh, was this not sanctioned? Oh, you weaseling Adi. Nevertheless, Ryder? You better have a good reason for this. I do, and we were clear. Jar was in from the start. Did I say put the shirt on? <laughs> oh, we were shit-talking. Except we couldn't. We didn't know enough about each other to dig in. If we don't know what's insulting or awful, we might accidentally trip on it. it makes talking dangerous. So now we know. And maybe that's enough for a couple of hotheads not to make a mess out there. Unless we want to. Good enough reason? Okay, I kind of get the intent. No harm, no foul. <laughs> if Jar was offended, I'd be on the floor. I'll take that kind of honest any day. We have a lot to learn. That's part of what our team is for. <laughs> Better now than when people's lives are on the line. Yes? We'll talk later. I know it. That's enough. Until we've established a better trust with each other. Talking to him for you. That's kind, Subi, but I don't think it will help.
We might have a problem. I was running some numbers, mass balances and such. The Tempest is carrying about 70 kilos of extra mass. I think something's aboard that doesn't belong. 70 kilos is enough mass for another person. Our internal sensors aren't getting anything, but they're not as powerful as a Pathfinder's scanner. Can you take a look? All right, I'll look around the ship and see what I can find. Anything I can help with? I should get back to things. Sounds good. Sam's been compiling our star charts. The other pilots on the Nexus will have plenty of new trails to follow. You can drop the charts off the next time we're there. Funny. A few months ago, that station was like a war zone. Flying was my only way to escape the chaos. Now it's become a haven, just as it was meant to be. Every good space station needs a big lake, maybe some fountains. Indeed. Even non-amphibians need a little water. Regardless, the worst threat to the whole initiative is still that monstrosity. You mean the Scourge? I still see it crippling the Nexus in my memories. I had to train other pilots in hazardous flight techniques just to look for food and water. It's a cage that eats good ships and good people. Helios won't be home so long as it's a threat. It's a huge space anomaly. It's not going away in anyone's lifetime. If we could somehow neutralize it, or if our ships had defenses against it. Still, that's what we do, isn't it? Find a way where there is none. Just see the Nexus for proof of that. Gil, O'Connell and Serena spent months getting our systems coordinated. You can't just strip and redesign those connections on the fly. Gil? I know you can hear me. The whole ship can hear you. I'm just not listening. You're fighting again? I'm thinking the same, believe me. What can I do for you? What do you think of the rest of the crew? Jal has all sorts of questions about the ship. I gave him some technical manuals. He tore right through them. I should ask him about Angaran ships. Imagine something actually designed to handle that damn scourge. I'll let you concentrate. You know where I'll be. No extra mass in the airlock. Too bad. It'd be easy to get rid of it.
None of the equipment in here would produce extra mass readings. Not reading any extra mass in here. Nothing under the table. All the mass readings in here are normal. Of course they are. Something up. I hope not. Everything here looks normal. No stowaways, no extra mass. No extra mass in the bathroom. Phew. 70 kilos is a lot to flush away. Got it. Suvi, that extra mass is behind the storage room bulkhead. Behind it? It looks like a construction mech welded right into the hull. Scanning the parts has activated an audio log. I think I know what that's about, Ryder. Come up to the bridge. Those parts you found welded in the storage room. 
I recognize them. From where? They belong to the ship's lead designer, Lucille Diawara. She broke her back during construction. But Lucille wouldn't abandon her ship. She converted a construction mech into a rig she could wear. She must have welded it into the hull. Her artist's signature. Not even a broken back could stop her dream. Sam, didn't you find an audio log with Lucille's rig? C can you play it? Sam found my construction gear then. Well done. One of you Pathfinders got the Tempest. Mason Barrow, Zevin Reka, Matriarch Ishara, Alec Ryder. You were the best of us. Dad's gone. Makes you wonder how many other Pathfinders made it. We'll find out. It's what you do. Take care of my ship, and each other. Whatever is in Andromeda, you're the Milky Way to them. We are such stuff as dreams are made on, and our little life is rounded with a sleep. I never thought I'd hear Lucille's voice again. She really cared about the Pathfinders. Enough to give them her rig. For luck. Lucille made it a part of the Tempest. Let's keep it that way. I'll see to it, Ryder. Thanks. Now let's go make her proud. What can I do for you? I'll let you concentrate. You know where I'll be. Anomaly on sensors. Probes launched. Tracking a huge mineral deposit.
I'm picking up something. Tracking a huge mineral deposit. Anomaly on sensors. Detected. system. It's almost lost in the scourge. What else could be lost out there? I'm picking up something. Deploying probe. Detecting what's left of a ship. Anomaly detected. Pro 
probes launched. I found something. Anomaly on sensors. Probes launched. Getting a scan. Anomaly on sensors. Deploying probe. Tracking a huge mineral deposit. up something. Deploying probe. I found something.
Changing the nav point for Darpalev. That's where the Moshe's team should be. It used to be an Angaran town. There'll be landing pads and good sight lines for a safe approach. Anomaly on the sensors. Something big, possibly hostile, taking evasive action. Wait, I don't think his... Something you don't see back home. Bringing us in. The vault must be fully operational here. It is beautiful. But the wilds can also be deadly.
Activating automated forward station deployment. None of these readings show any change. How could there not be a change?
Jarl, what are you doing here, in the company of these people? Kieran, this is Pathfinder Ryder, from a long way away. Ryder, Kieran Dowles, lead scientist at Dar Palev. I just have to say, Havarl is beautiful. The planet's beauty is the least of my current concerns. Where's the rest of the team? Ryder has experience with Remnant. We might be able to help their investigations. You haven't heard? While the team was exploring the monolith, something went terribly wrong. They were caught in some kind of Remnant stasis field, frozen in place, unresponsive. Are they still alive? Vitals remain steady and neural patterns resemble those exhibited in deep sleep. We subjected them to various stimuli, injections of Kachari, nothing worked. Let Ryder try. She's worked at the Remnant Tech inside a vault. Or so she says. Ocean of fish, one will have gems in its mouth. But if you think the alien can help, I'll set skepticism aside. The monolith is not far from here. See what you can do, but be careful. We don't know what triggered the stasis, and it may happen again. What is it? Jal said he worked for the Moshai? Not I, but many of the team that was sent to the Monolith are her students. If we can't save her people, I don't think I could ever face her again. We'll find a way to help them, Kiran. I promise. Tell me more about the stasis that's taken out your team. We don't know what started it, and it's the first time any of us have heard of something like this happening. The team sent out there studied monoliths before. At least half of them worked with Moshai Sefer. They were just doing their job when the stasis hit. Now it's like they're frozen in time. Nothing will wake them. Stimulants, loud noises. They show no reaction to sensation or pain. I should get going. Be careful. I heard the advisory that you'd be out here. It didn't prepare me to meet you. The name's Ryder. I'm with the Andromeda Initiative. They say you want to help us. I wonder what you're prepared to do. If it gets me on your good side, I'm in. That's reassuring, assuming you mean well. My name is Rochelle V. I'm an archaeastronomer. I study our ancient cultural records for stellar phenomena. I piece together lost knowledge of ages past. My goal is to find undiscovered colonies we lost contact with, potential allies against the Ket. You think there might be Angara worlds you don't know about? That's what I was trying to learn. Then this happened. I was away when the disaster struck. I thought my home was destroyed, and all my research with it, but I just learned part of the building survived. I'm trying to recover my research data, but the wildlife won't let me near my old home. These house guests, I assume they're of the hungry variety? The structure has become a breeding ground for insects and predators. Too many to face alone. Your work is too important to lose. Let's get it back. I'll provide my home's location. Just recover my research materials from the computer. I'll remain in contact with you by comm. Thank you for this. My research could turn the tide against the cat. I need it back. No 
transports available. Emergency support for cat attacks. All of them. Oh, Ben Rouge. What's he doing here? What? Is everything all right? You seem distressed. Uh, would you like a reward for that astute observation? <sighs> You're that alien visitor that came to Aya asking about our vault. You've heard of me. Who hasn't? When strange new species turn up, reports spread fast. After the cat, can't be too careful. Luge Anson, historian with the repository of history, Aya. Listen, if there's nothing you need, could you go away? I'm busy trying to get transport off this cursed planet. Why did you come here from Aya? Kieran's team found some remnant relics while digging around the old ruins. I was sent to collect them for the repository. It shouldn't have taken more than a day. But things never go according to schedule, do they? You mentioned remnant ruins. Are there lots of remnant here? Yes. If you've been out in the jungle, you might have seen some of it. We think the ruins were part of a vast remnant complex. We've seen evidence of hallways that wound through the area, both above and below the ground. Generations ago, our people took shelter in what we found here. That's how Palef was established. Were there no hostile remnant machines? None. According to the histories, we found artifacts, of course. Bits of things that we could study. But they say it was like moving into an empty home. You don't seem to like Havarl very much. Havarl's other regions suit me just fine. But here... Oh no. I don't do well in this fierce wilderness. <clears throat> you think these shelters keep you safe? They don't. Woke up this morning and found a thorny vine wormed its way into my bunk. I'm stranded here because a branch pierced my shuttle's power core. I won't bother you further. Very well. Watch out for plants while you're out there. Vicious things. <laughs> 